Hello guys, in this video, I'll be showing the new tier list for Pixel Tower Defense. A lot of towers have been added, there's a new rarity, and some towers have been changed, so I decided to put together this tier list. If you'd like me to run more giveaways, subscribe, like this video, and comment to let me know. Just a heads up, the person who won Udni didn't claim it, so I'm rerolling it right now on my Discord server. Currently, only 13 people have joined the giveaway. You know what to do. The link is in the description, alright? Now let's move on to the tire list. Here's all 88 towers. Let's start with the first tower Captain Boom. Captain Boom is a great choice for a new player, C tier. Stretchy is a little better, but it's still C tier. Saku can deal decent out damage, B tier. Devil, this tower is perfect for new players, C tier. Witch, C tier. Headless, D tier. Pixie, D tier. Noob, undoubtedly the worst exclusive, E tier. Sir Stonhelm, D tier. Toilet, D tier. Only for slowing, Medusa, the best control tower in the game. No question, S tier. Spider Guy, this is a D tier. Necromancer, this tower deals decent damage with great speed, a tier. Penny Clown, this tower has incredible damage, lightning fast speed and great control ability, S tier. Reaper King, a tier. Solaris, this tower has decent damage, but it's simply not fast or ranged enough to be playable, B tier. Dragon Emperor, this is also a B tier tower. Demonic Ugni. This is the best godly in game damage dealer, no question. This one's a S tire. Grim Reaper, B tier. TNT Cart. This is undoubtedly the worst secret tower in the game. The problem is that it deals low damage and has slow speed, B tier. Shadow Knight, great tower. Fast, with a good range and a high out damage output, S tier. Hell Necromancer, this one's better than the normal Necromancer, a tier. Dark Ugni, this is identical to Demonic Ugni, S tier. Demonic Ugni and Dark Ugni are somewhere between S and a rank, but I can categorically state that this tower is not in a rank because it is the best godly in the game. Dark Necromancer, a tier tower. Skeleton Horseman, the game's top damage dealer, S tier. Ugni, a tire. Iron Cyborg, this is a solid tower, but it's not the best mythic. It also has a great evolution, C tier. Demon Lord, this is a tower with excellent damage and speed on the first level. This tower is the perfect for starting game. A tire. Genie. This is the most valuable tower in the game. The genie can boost the damage of other towers, S tier tower. Light Pyromancer. The best damage dealer mythic in the game, no question, B tier. Pyromancer. Same as the Light Pyromancer, have great out damage, B tire. TNT, worst mythic. D tire. Dark Pyromancer, B tier. Dracula. Decent mythic tower with bleeding debuff. C tire. Endergui, C tire. Fire Guardian, C tier. Wizard of Hell and Night Wizard, D tire. Cyborg, C tier. Odin, also C tier. Kronos, tower with great damage and excellent controllability. A tire. Thor, mid tower, D tier. Rosie Apollo. The best legendary tower in the game, C tier. Wizard of Heavens, D tier, the Ice Princess. This tower has excellent controllability, but is severely lacking in damage, C tier. Miner, a highly useful tower that generates income within the game, B tier. Haughty, D tier. Zombie Lancelot, this is undoubtedly one of the best epic towers in the game, D tier. Inferno Lantern, D tier. Crawler, E tier. Apollo, same as Rosie Apollo. It has excellent out damage, 
It's a little worse than Evo, so it's D-tier. Storm Havoc, E-tier. Dark Odin, C-tier. Thunderclaw, this is definitely D-tier. Thunder, E-tier. Twin Blade, this is a decent epic tower, D-tier. Magma, E-tier. Mumi, E-tier as well. Raiden, E-tier. Possess Lancelot, E-tier. Emerald Slayer, E-tier. Galaxy Magma, it's also an E-tier. Lady Pink, E-tier. And Lancelot, E-tier. Werewolf, this is a decent rare tower, D-tier. Pumpkin Patch, this tower will give you money in the game, just like the Miner, D-tier. Dark Magma, E-tier. Elf, this is an excellent, epic tower, D-tier. Dark Evelyn, this tower has insane speed and is a great starter for new players, D-tier. Skeleton, F-tier. Ice King, D-tier. Evelyn, E-tier. Farmer, it's the same pumpkin patch, no doubt about it, D-tier. All other towers are going to F-tire. The only ones who won't be going to F tier are Captain, Diamond Slayer, and Frosty. These towers are E tier. This is the full tire list as it stands. Frankly, I can make it more accurate. This is how it should be. I have added the S plus tier and sorted all the towers. Everything is basically the same, but it's much easier to understand. If you're new to the game, I strongly suggest you look for the E tier. I would especially recommend Thunderclaw, Lancelot, Elf, and Werewolf. Next is D tier. The best towers are Zombie Lancelot, Twin Blade, and Odin. For Mythic Towers, go for Pyromancer or Kronos. If you can afford Godly, Gettigny, Grim Reaper, or Demon Lord, all Secret Towers are great. Except TNT cart, don't roll for this tower. And never use F tier towers. If you just joined, use all codes and roll for a better tower. And here is all codes for you to use. First code is UPDATE2. Second code is 30k likes. Third code is 40k likes. Then you PD4. Halloween. And 50k likes. For all this codes, you will get 1600 coins to 100 pumpkins and to spins and to luck boosts. By the way, don't forget to use luck boost before summoning. So that's all for today guys. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe and leave a like. Thanks for watching.